So that referee, I guess it came out last week. I saw the article that she sent a demand letter through her lawyer to uh, to Vince, I guess, for wanting over eleven million related to the the alleged uh, sexual assault back in nineteen eighty six. Right, w- right. So what had happened was this past November, New York came out with what's called a look back law. So you have until November of 2022 to November of 2023, no matter when, it could have been 1962 that you were sexually abused or assaulted or anything like that, and you can bring a claim. Basically, what they've done was waive the statute of limitations. So um, that's how she got to bring suit um, in this case. Uh, like I said, I, I stand by what I've said in New York Magazine. I stand by, you know, it, they confirmed that in the Wall Street Journal last week uh, and on podcasts. And the reason why I stand by it is the question posed was, was this communicated to me in 1986? And the answer is Yes. Why did she confide in you of all people and obviously Greg Valentine too? Uh, I guess you guys were friends from working with her and seeing her backstage or something? No. So the the, the first person she spoke to told was Andre the Giant. Well, Andre's not here anymore. So that left me. The Valentine came up later. That, that was recent. That was only a couple months ago. Um, until then, it was just me and Andre, and Andre's not here. There's a group picture, a newspaper took of Tony Altamar, who was our trainer, and the entire wrestling school. So Rita walked in, and uh, she said, uh, I, you know, she looked at Tony Altamar and said, I'd, I'd like to be a, a referee. And he's like, wow, that's there is no female referee. And she's like, yeah, I'd like to do that. And she joined the school. And we worked with her and helped Tony train her. So she actually came out of the same school myself came out of. That's where she learned. That's how we became like a brother and sister because she came to the same wrestling school um, that we all went to. Could you share with us what is her version of the story uh, between her and Vince, was it was it a full uh, intercourse thing, or well, her story, her words are the the exact story is is this. She was at a diner, and Vince was there at the same diner. They were at different tables, and she wasn't getting that booked that much, and. She walked over to talk to Vince about getting more bookings. And Vince had already pumped her up and said, you know, she's going to be on the front front of cover of Women's Day and she's going to pay her X amount of dollars. And she's finding herself not booked that much. So she went to go talk about the bookings. And when she went to go talk about her bookings, she not here. So they ended up leaving the diner and Vince had a limo out there. And the limo driver was in the still in the diner. And Vince said, well, get in a limo. We'll talk about it. So went in a limo, talked about it. And, you know, in her words, he unzipped his pants, took out his gimmick, and um, forced her to have oral sex with him. And she didn't complete it. And when she didn't complete it, he got irate and pulled her jeans off and pulled her on top of him until he did. That's her story. Um, you know, and I, uh, shortly after that, I walked into an arena and of course she was there and, you know, I went up to say hello to her. Why wouldn't I, you know what I mean? We're out of the same school and we got close and she just started crying. I said, what are you crying for? She goes, I, I wanted to talk to Vince and I got into his limo and I went, tell me you didn't do that. She said it was terrible, and she told me the story. And I said, you're done. You're through. You'll never work again. You're, you're done. Through. And shortly after that, she was gone. 
So I guess her her bookings just dried up and she stopped getting booked after that. Yeah. Yeah. She I told her she was done. All done. I go, you're you're through. You're, he's not using you anymore. You're done. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.